At Part Select, we're here to help do-it-yourselfers save time and money on home repairs. Hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new DIY appliance repair video. Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to help you troubleshoot why your refrigerator may have a frost buildup in it. To help you with that, it's good to understand how the conventional refrigeration system works. In a conventional refrigerator, air is circulated through the evaporator located in the freezer, air is circulated in that freezer as well as in the fresh food compartment. Now, the natural process of opening and closing doors on a refrigerator introduces warm moist air into the refrigerator which collects on the evaporator in the form of frost. Now a defrost circuit automatically will remove that frost on a periodic basis in the refrigerator. This is accomplished by use of a heater that is located in the evaporator area which will melt that frost into water. There will be a termination thermostat that will terminate that defrost cycle when all of the water has been collected. And we'll also have a mechanical timer or an electronic timer that will initiate that defrost cycle to begin with. Now the first thing we need to determine is whether we have an excessive frost buildup based on another problem or whether the defrost circuit is not working at all. Now to determine whether or not we have an excessive frost problem based on air infiltration, we first look for the symptoms. Typically you would see icicles hanging from a lot of areas inside of the freezer. You'll see frost build up all along the doors as well as along the back panel. It's just an excessive amount of frost build up in the fresh food and freezer compartments. Those are typically caused by air leaks either around gaskets, through the dispenser door flap. If your model has a dispenser on it, check that area to make sure that that flapper is closing properly. Check the gaskets, make sure that they're sealing tight against the cabinet and also verify that the doors close securely and that we don't have an issue with the hinges. Now if the problem is just not defrosting, we would look for components in that defrost cycle. On models that have a mechanical timer, you can typically cycle that timer into the defrost mode. Now these are normally located in a fresh food compartment in the control housing. On a model such as this, we look in behind that panel, we'll see a little dial on that timer that we can actually advance with a flat blade screwdriver into the defrost mode. When we do that, it will defrost for approximately 20 to 30 minutes, at which time heat from the defrost heater will melt that frost on the evaporator and drain it out. If the defrost cycle does not initiate, suspect that we may have a problem with the thermostat being open, the timer contacts not supplying power to the heating element, or the heating element is damaged or open circuit. To test the heater, we can remove the evaporator cover in the freezer, locate the harness connector, and measure for continuity with a multimeter, and it should be fairly low ohms, typically between 10 and 50 ohms. The thermostat is a little more difficult to test. When it's in a frozen condition, it should show about zero ohms or a closed circuit. However, by the time you get the evaporator cover off, typically it is warmed up enough that it will go open circuit, which makes it difficult to determine whether or not it is working properly. The defrost timer, other than the manual advancement to put it into defrost, it should automatically time itself through for that 20 or 30 minutes and then turn the compressor and fans back on. If it does not do that, suspect that the timer may be bad. On models that use an adaptive defrost control or electronic control, there are typically methods to test that that are specific to the manufacturer and you will need to consult the technical information for your particular model. Now the typical symptoms of a no defrost situation in your refrigerator would be that the, first of all, the fresh food temperature will tend to rise and you'll notice that first. Freezer temperatures will rise as well, but because of the difference in those two temperatures, you're not likely to notice it before you notice the fresh food. That happens because the evaporator gets plugged with frost, therefore the evaporator fan motor cannot draw enough air through there to circulate throughout the refrigerator. On an excessive defrost 
situation where you've had air infiltration from around gaskets or through the dispenser area, you typically will see both temperatures rise dramatically and quickly and you'll also visibly see frost build up in areas in the refrigerator that you normally would not. Now if you continue to allow your refrigerator to run in that condition, first of all the compressor will run almost non-stop. So there is the potential for damage to the sealed system based on a frost buildup. So we want to make sure that we take care of that as soon as possible. Part Select makes finding the right part for your repair easy. All you need is your model number to find the matching part fast. Click on the link in the description below to find your part on our website now.